I think the coolest thing about what we do is that no one else can do it. We have built a platform on its face. It's quite simply for anyone who has to respond to a disaster. Governments or insurance companies who have insurers out there somewhere who need support, they need it near real time. The faster we can get our data out, the more impactful it is for them. And so now we have this really solid daily process, um, but it always starts with knowing where is it going to flood based on weather models, flood forecasts, anything we have at our disposal. Knowing where it's going to flood, we then need to gather imagery of that location. And so our analysts create a tasking plan, leveraging our satellites to gather tens of thousands of square kilometers of imagery to make sure we cover as much of the flood aerial-wise and then time-wise as well. Once we receive data about a flood that we had been targeting, we review that data, we bring in all of the other data sources beyond SAR as well, and we determine, did it flood, and if so, where? And how extreme, how severe? The next part of the process, this is where we produce the flood depth file, the flood extent file. It's a big deal to know 10,000 households were impacted by flood. It's another thing to know which 1,000 of them were impacted by three meters or more of water, because they need immediate assistance. The flood extent is basically the outline of the flood. The flood depth raster allows you to zoom in on any house, click on it, and say, what was the depth? The last step is just our delivery. We deliver the first output within 24 hours and then 48 hours. I mean, the interesting thing about flood is that once the hazard is gone, the water, it's gone. And so if you missed it and there isn't a reliable way to know where it was, then it's challenging to understand as an insurer, you know, how are you supposed to respond for any given household who may have been impacted? I think it's amazing that iSight can be that one data that they always have wanted but never have had. It's literally been a gap. That's what we're building, is like the one data set, global, consistent, reliable hazard data that they've just never had to close that gap.